How you going guys? Um, this is my do-it-yourself uh, custom light hanger which I made from stuff I purchased from Bunnings. Here is some 25mm brackets holding it to the back of the fish tank, one at the bottom down there, on the other side actually, and one here. These poles right here, I think they're 24mm, they're about 1.8 meters long, cost about $15 in Bunnings. Uh, these round poles here um, are about five dollars for 13 mils. I drew the hole on both sides with a 12 mil uh, metal drill. Uh, the fit is very snug. I did put a little bit of super glue at the back just to hold it in place. I also used super glue on both sides here and here to hold the dust stoppers in place. You can get these from Bunnings in the uh, uh, section where they hold the little things to keep the doors closed, uh, the locks and things. These actually go to the bottom of the door where the spring goes. And there is a, there is a seal thing here as well. Um, all of these parts uh, you can get from the fencing section in Bunnings. Um, so two of those. Through the hole here, about 3mm, just to hold the slack in place. Um, for, for the actual um, for the cable I don't want to cut it too short just in case I change my mind and want to put the light somewhere else overall I think it looks really clean um, I think the total cost from memory was about $60 and uh, it's very sturdy very strong and I think it looks very clean it looks really nice um, and it matches the actual light that I bought that's uh, for tube um, and I got that from Guppies, good price. Um, but yeah, I really like the look, and uh, I think it's not bad for my first DIY. Do it yourself. Enjoy, thanks.